Now, I told the girls before um, when we first read this story that I have not been shocked <laughs> about something in a while. It's been a long time since yes. I was shocked to something, but our governor, um, Mike Sonko, definitely did it. So yesterday was um, the memorial service for Kenneth Okoth, um, the MP of Kibra who passed away um, last week, Friday. Um, and... Sonko took the opportunity to say many things. I'm mm -hmm. not just going to take the little bit of what he said, but he did say so many things. Um, you know, he praised Ken um, so much, and he did said so many things and promised so many things for the people who wanted to go to the funeral, etc., etc. But the highlight um, of what he said was a revelation which most people felt it was very uncomfortable to say something like that at the, mm -hmm. at the, memo the memorial yeah. service yeah. of someone who's passed. And what he revealed was that um, Kenneth O'Cause had a quote-unquote second wife, and he also had a son with that woman. And not only did he reveal that for the purposes of making sure that the family um, recognized the son, he also told us the love affair that happened. Mm -hmm. He said that they had, um, they met as she was one of the nurses for the Songo um, Rescue Service. They met there, they had the love affair, and they continued to do so even for, before, up until he, his mm -hmm. passing. Now he said this, and after he apologized to the wife, he said, I know you're going through so much, but I have something to get off the chest. <laughs> it's, a, it's a classic Kanye. Yeah. Um, yeah. Taylor, I'm going to let you finish, yeah, but, but then I'm about to embarrass you so yeah. badly. Um, so stand here and do it. Uh, share what, what you think. Uh, I mean, me I, thought, I thought that was absolutely redonkulous, ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Like, and especially to do that at a funeral. Like, let these people mourn. Let them bury, you know, the husband, the dad, whatever. Let them mourn. Mm -hmm. But... Don't do it at a funeral. Do it behind closed doors where, you know, with the wife one-on-one, -on -one, yeah. that would be more respectable. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought it was hilarious. One of the comments was like, don't tell Sonko your secrets because, <laughs> you know, don't invite him to do more funerals. Yeah. Um, he also went to reveal that um, Anne Thumbi, who is the other woman, mm -hmm. or the second wife, whatever I want to be called, yeah. um, she was, she, he also made it that, she, he said that he nominated her as an MCA for Nairobi because Ken asked her to. I don't know what we want to do about so that as well. He straight up just said, like, yes, it was like, it was, what is it, nepotism. It was definitely, mm -hmm. absolutely, 100%. I just did what yeah. I want. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, Sonko cannot come to the cookout. Like, nope. Sonko is nope. not invited to literally nope. anything. But what's interesting, like, why would you say it, like, oh, I have some Something to get off my chest it's like this wasn't your business to tell in the first place like mm -hmm. even if you knew what was happening I don't understand why it's suddenly burdening you so much when this guy like is like fresh in the ground essentially yeah. like not even yet that you had to expose his business because I can't think of it in any other way because he tried to say it like oh you know I loved him and I was doing him a favor and you know we were great friends it's like I genuinely feel if you know anyone or anything about friendship you wouldn't expose him at his own funeral in front of who you know will be a collection of his close family and friends. Yeah. There's no good way to say this in public. Yeah, uh, and wasn't it on national TV? Yep. Yeah. It literally was on national TV. <laughs> truth be told, I don't feel like anything he said was a surprise to the family. I actually don't. What I feel is that, um, for example, um, if somebody has made you my, if we are, if we are co-wives, then mm. we know there's no story should be here. Mm -hmm. But if the situation that if Ken Okoth had not handled this, that the wife Monica was aware of the other woman as a second wife, then you can't mm. imp impose that on me. Yeah. You yeah. know. But what I have to say is that I was totally here for the fact that just because someone has passed away and the child was out of wedlock does not mean that they do not have the rights mm -hmm. to want to see their father to be part of the funeral i feel like that point was good it's yeah. just how he he did it all was so horrible and i thought it was so humiliating yeah, right. um there was a court order which had blocked um the release of his body until mm -hmm. they recognize the son mm -hmm. and it's all been settled and he will be included in the funeral mm -hmm. which is a huge plus mm -hmm. but i feel like the way this was sensationalized was ridiculous yeah. and i feel like someone could know yeah. No, because well, mm -hmm. I mean, no offense to Ken Okoth, because I think he was doing some very great things. Because mm -hmm. he also touched on like medicinal marijuana legalization. Yeah, he was he actually was working for his community. Mm -hmm. But as bad as it will sound, do you think 
that Ken was the only guy with a child at the side chain. Like this has to, this to me reads like a personal vendetta mm -hmm. because it's not like Sonko only knows about him and mm -hmm. his specific side chick or whatever, second wife, second baby. Like that to me only reads like malice of forethought. Like yeah. he had to think about this speech and what he was going to say. This was not suddenly he felt like spilling his guts and you know getting it off his chest you know yeah. god will forgive him this was he thought about this speech because yeah. he knew he was giving it on national television yeah i actually kind of got that vibe <laughs> too like literally mm -hmm. but you guys what do you guys think i mean maybe we're just not team sonko people mm -hmm. who knows i'm team sonko but no <laughs> yeah you know maybe we can even be team sonko but you know nobody's perfect you know he just kind of has to take this l and wasn't he also not invited to, to the, the actual funeral. funeral. Yeah, to the actual funeral after this. So he kind of shot himself in the foot mm -hmm. if he was actually his friend. But you guys, tell us what you have to say about this. The hashtag is Talk and the text tone is 40920.